place doesn't look too bad. I think I get used to this. I think I can definitely get used to this. How about you? Oh yeah, for sure. Now we haven't had too many luxury uh, stops, and this, in our final race, this is so nice. Holy sh! Look at this. this place. This is crazy, man. Drinks, M and M's, everything we need. Oh, yeah, but wine, no, white what, wine. What is the price Pringles. List? What is the price list? Oh yeah. Okay, we can't afford any of it. But it's no. nice to know it's here. It is nice to know it's here. Look at this. What do we got? Empty drawers. We can put whatever we want in there. We can put bike tools in there if we wanted. Look at the staircase. Oh my God! Do you believe this? Oh yeah. I feel way more civilized now. Soaker tub, jacuzzi styles. I can sleep in here. Like this is pimped out to the max. <laughs> oh man! Living the dream! Beautiful morning, beautiful setting. Totally at ease. But we've got a bike ride in an hour and a half and our bikes are still in the box. So we've got to build those up. This is a non-competitive run. They just have the course closed so we can see it. All right, the grand unveiling of the winner's bike. There we go. It's a full carbon frame, so it's really light there. It's a red line race. People are hammering the whole time, and seconds matter in these races. If you can save seconds through equipment or technique efficiency, that's free time that you're getting back. One hand, dude. This bike is so light. You know, it's a different kind of race for us. I, I don't race triathlon, so I don't ever go up against uh, triathletes. Today's a good day to get back on the bike. I haven't been on the bike since I was back in Canada. It'll be good to get ride and uh, check out the course. Ready to rock. Triathletes are certainly some of the fittest athletes in the world. They're also known for being very focused. And the pros, these guys are putting in well over 20 hours a week.